this book when I started writing my first novel. Oh right, it wasn't published yet. Bummer! Well, now's a good time to read this book and learn. So, Save the Cat writes a novel, the last book on novel writing you'll ever need, by Jessica Brody. A review by Katherine Fogelman White. Yay! Okay, I, first of all, I, I haven't quite finished this book. I've gotten through pretty much all of it. Let me see. Where am I at? Huh? And looking, 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 looking. institutionalized. I'm at chapter six. All right. There's like 15 chapters. I'm at chapter six. There has already been so much pumped into this book. I have gotten through the meat and potatoes of it and uh, literally um, chapters. I think five through 15 are just um, what they call beat sheets for common stories that you are familiar with. So Save the Cat writes a novel. I'm a pantser. So if you don't know what a pantser is, there's in the writing world, there's a pantser and there's a plotter. Um, plotter, plotters, use this hand, plotters outline their, the plot of their story, the plot of their book. Um, almost sometimes down to the meticulous details. Pantsers have come up with an idea and in my case it was like I want to write a story about a boy being adopted by a dragon and then I ran with it. I kind of had a beginning how I wanted it to start. I knew roughly how I wanted it to end. I had some idea of what I some scenes I wanted in the middle and then I just ran with it. This book can be for both. So if you are more of the person who loves to outline and have a solid plan on your book, then this book works for you. If you are a pantser and you just have an idea of what you want and you don't wanna take time to outline, and if you're like me, if you do outline, your brain is like, oh, I'm finished writing the book. And it's like, no, we have to actually write and it's like but I did write and we had this cool story and it's on paper now it's like no that's an outline anyway so if you're a pantser this book is especially good for you okay this would have helped me so much and I wouldn't be in the middle of rewrites on my first book right now so it goes through she got the idea from save the cat which is a screenwriter's tip sheet basically and a book for screenwriters and she thought this would be amazing for writing novels and so she took the idea and did save the cat writes a novel and she goes into the very you know you have your basics of a story she breaks down what those are and then what every story needs to really grip an audience and draw them in and uh, she goes into detail on that and just walks you through what you need for a good story uh, opening image the theme how to find that the setup the catalyst the debate um, your characters and um, your your uh, B story fun games midpoint the bad guys and all is lost that was phenomenal and that even the all is lost part even gave me a some great ideas for my rewrites that I'm still working on and I had to immediately like stop and go to my computer open it turn it on and everything and type down on my sheets that the all is lost point this is it this is it in the story this is where I can fit it in it'll be perfect because I was really in my first book lacking a 
all is lost moment where my character loses like everything. So uh, this is great for if you're writing epic fantasy, this is great for a romance or coming of age or western or anything. I wish this book had been published before I started writing so that it could have helped me avoid a lot of rewrites. So don't get me wrong, my first book was great as it was, but as I've grown in my writing and grown in my reading, I, I've come to realize it was really lacking something and it was lacking this. It was lacking the points, the play sheet. And the, I can't remember what she calls it. Do, do, do. The beat sheet. She calls it the beat sheet. So, aka the end of all your plotting problems. And I would, I found with this now, with some of my other stories that I'm working on, and even my rewrites, I'm not getting writer's block as bad. I'm able to overcome that a lot faster because even though I still want to pants, I can sit down and whenever I run into that moment of writer's block, I don't know what to look, I, I don't know what to put on this blank page, I can go and, okay, here is my beat sheet for this story idea I've got in my head. Now where do I go? And then my brain all the creative juices start firing again. So, I definitely recommend this book. If you are a writer, want to be a writer, or know a writer, do them a favor and get this book. Just do it. It's worth it. I got it in audio and in paperback so that I could listen and read it at the same time and absorb even more of its wonderfulness. So do yourself a favor, do your writing buddy a favor, go get this book. It will save them a lot of rewrites later. Just do it. So I will put links to it in the description down below. Um, last I looked, it was just as cheap to get it on Amazon as thrift books. I love you thrift books. I love you. If you want to sponsor me, just just look me up and send me a message. I love you. So, my review. <laughs>